They look at another x-ray, same hospital. They're like, we still don't see anything. Uh, so we're going to see you to an orthopedic just in case. Orthopedic looks at the x-ray. He's like, oh, I'm so fucking disappointed. So he says, so he says, this is how your wrist is supposed to look. In which he draws, you know, this bone right here. That mm-hmm. long bone. Mm-hmm. And at the end of it, you have a bunch of smaller bones like right. so. So he draws a representation of one of them. All right. That's out of this area. Yeah, that's like a dick. Bye. Yeah, yeah, closer. He said, instead, this is what it looks like. Oh, actually. Oh, shit. Yeah. So. Let's go on and eat out. So he says, yeah, um, what looked like it's um, a swollen section right here on your wrist was actually your bone sticking out a little bit. Hey. Ooh. <laughs> She got every time, but she bang with us Hook her on the team, bang She a little button for the cameras We got every time that you need Alright, anybody got a Thanksgiving story tonight? Funny Thanksgiving story I mean, I, I thought we were all supposed to have some type of story <laughs> oh, oh, that's what you want to do, a sharing? Yeah, sharing. Okay. Oh, speaking of that So I'll try this, that, that thing that you suggested out there so we are about to do story time. Story time is a part of the podcast where we, uh, one of us tells a story, but I guess in this case it's gonna be all of us. Uh, usually it's a funny story about some shit that happened. All right, so now Thanksgiving stories. Any- you wanna kick us off? I'll start it off. Um, I mean, this probably should have been a separate one, but fuck it, run it. I'm gonna tell about the story in which I broke my wrist back in 2012, the day after my birthday. I'm still salty. Um, so you know, it was just a regular game of football. I finally um, was able to join the join the family or whatever because the years before that, either I was asleep and my because didn't wake me up, or I was just gone somewhere or whatever. Um, I was like, all right, finally get to prove myself, start cracking some people, and um, you know, we're going at it or whatever. Both teams going back and forth, and there's this one play where basically. Um, my cousin's the quarterback. He takes off, goes to the opposite side of the field. So I'm like, fuck that. I'm going to chase his ass down. I'm going to prove that I'm faster than him nowadays. <laughs> so I'm catching up to him bit by bit. And then out of nowhere, my oldest brother, who's 11 years older than me, but he's probably, uh, let's say he's probably Deuce's weight. So he's much lighter than me. He speeds all the way across the field and, you know, gives me a um, smooth block, knocks me off my feet. And when I'm falling, I put my hands behind my back, mm-hmm. in which, you know, I land on my hands a bit, and I get up like, all right, that was a good hit. Um, the guy mm-hmm. got the touch, got, got the touchdown. Um, that's with his kickoff, and you know, we're standing there waiting for the kickoff, and next, you know, both of my wrists start burning. I'm like, fuck, what the hell is this all about? Trying to just get hotter and hotter, so I'm like, yeah, I, I, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta step out, mm-hmm. and I hopped out and. You know, I, I did like a, a mini little wrist movement or whatever just to see if it was working. I was like, okay, I, I guess they still work. Uh, even though it hurts like hell. So uh, I called my mom, had her uh, come out, and we finished watching the game. Then we hopped up in the car. I hopped in the uh, passenger seat, and my mom mistakenly gives me a smooth The Rock elbow on the uh, on the wrist that's actually fucked up or whatever. I'm screaming. And my brother's on the wall, so I'm acting like a baby or whatever. Because at this point, everybody thinks it's just a little sprain or it's just a little, you know, a little bit of pain or whatever. So uh, we go to the hospital. The doctors look, uh, look at my wrist. They do an X-ray and everything. They're like, well, everything looks all right or whatever. So I guess they must be, they must be spraying. We're just going to wrap them up and you, you can be on your way. So my mom feeds me like a fucking baby in front of the family on Thanksgiving just because I can't be with my hands or whatever. Mm. So that was some bullshit. Disrespect. <laughs> right? <laughs> I go back to campus. You want some sweet potato? Um, so I can finish uh, the rest of the semester off. The right wrist gets better or whatever. I'm able to do everything with that one again. You know everything, would it? <laughs> but, the left, <laughs> but the left wrist is uh, still still hurting or whatever. I'm waking up in the middle of the night because it's like tingling um, intensely or whatever, and you know it's just not improvement. Um, so I end up going back home at the end of the semester. So I'm basically doing like what is it like? Six, six or seven weeks hmm. um, that we have after Thanksgiving break. Yeah. yeah. So I finished that semester off using just one hand, doing everything, coding and shit. And um, and my mom's like, "Why well, is your wrist still messed up? It should have healed a long time ago." 
Uh, my grandma was like, yeah, something must be broken or whatever. So let's send them to the doctor again. They look at another x-ray, same hospital. They're like, we still don't see anything. Uh, so we're gonna send you to an orthopedic just in case. Orthopedic looks at the x-ray, it's like, oh, I'm so fucking disappointed. Uh, you mind if I use the drawing app on your phone? Uh, sure. Let's see. Uh, I'm just trying to showcase, showcase the note. <laughs> <laughs> the note that's note. It should be a red app. Oh, blue, probably nowadays. Oh, whoops! I got you. Just drawing on random shit. All right, let's go to ask note. Put it from the side again. I got you. Oh, oh, you don't have that savings? Nah, here we go. <laughs> you have to ask note now. However you do it, you don't hit. I right. believe in you. So, well, they're not going to be able to see on the camera. So he says. How you feel? So he says, this is how your wrist is supposed to look, in which he draws, you know, this bone right here, that long mm -hmm. bone, mm -hmm. and at the end of it, you have a bunch of smaller bones, like right. so. So he draws a representation of one of them, right. inside of this area. Yeah, like a dick. Bye. Yeah, getting closer. He said, instead, this is what it looks like. Oh, actually. Oh, shit. Yeah. Save that, save that note and send me a picture of <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I can just blink. That did not work at all. <laughs> oh, you yeah. got to just screenshot. Yeah, I'll do it. So, let's go on and eat out. So, he says, yeah, um, what looked like it's um, a swollen section right here on your wrist was actually your bone sticking out a little bit. Hey! Ooh. <laughs> so, he's like, yeah, I'm just going to, you know, cut it open on both sides, put the bone in this right spot, put six pins inside there. You know, a couple months, I'll take them back out and you should be all good to go. <laughs> just leave it out. He's, he's, all, he's saying, <laughs> nah, I'm saying, what I'm doing as fuck. Okay, what? I mean, while I'm sitting there, I'm, I'm freaking out of my head. <laughs> Did this nigga just say he's going to cut my wrist right. open? Yeah. What? It's dead. I thought he was just going to stop it in place. But he's saying, I'm going to cut your shit over. Put six pins inside of it or whatever. And these pins, oh, yeah, I'll, I'll continue. So basically, um, the uh, injury was November 22nd. I didn't get the surgery until January 3rd. So you got a broken wrist until January? Do you have a cast or anything? So, what, did I like keep keep the cast or whatever? No, did they have a cast on you? Or After the surgery. Time period? So when they found out about it, which was some sometime in December, yeah. they put a splint, a little splint on it or whatever. Mm -hmm. And I uh, wore that for like a week or two Ooh. until the surgery. Yeah. Um, so, well, surgery was January 3rd. And, um, <laughs> oh, that was, that was a bitch. Ended up then, um, after that point, um, taking the taking the uh, cast off on March eighth, and the uh, the pins like this fucking long. Mm -hmm. What? So they were so they were about the 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 length of the average male penis on the pool planet. <laughs> Man. So you say you had a couple dicks in your wrist. Scientific ass fuck. For the people who don't know, the average length of the male penis, well, I'm pretty sure it's only pretty sure white penis is all all male. The average length of a penis on this planet is five inches. Hey, racist racist shit. No. Say, um, the penises can have uh, can be women too if they want, but okay. <laughs> like I said, wow. it's just, hey man, it's no. Get no. <laughs> so six of those in my wrist. Yeah, six dicks. <laughs> that had to be the worst pain in my life. Yeah, <laughs> there's a lot of people that would agree that six dicks. <laughs> This shit was stuck oh. in my bone. Yeah. This motherfucker grabs a pen. Uh, well, he tries to pull. Uh, stuck in. And he's like, oh, it's kind of stuck in there. You must, be, you, must be, you, must be, you must be drinking some milk. Oh, I'm like, nigga. I'm like, you don't even come for this. Jolly, he's So they hear that shit in? How did I get stuck in the bone? Um, but guess, bone healed I'm over. guessing during the surgery you must because basically, oh, basically, because basically, if you just if you were to take the cast off, you can see like six hooks yeah. sticking outside of my skin or whatever. Uh, that's gross. And that's what he was able to grab the pins with. 
and pull them out. So he like, so it so, actually curved out, so there's a bunch of holes outside. So, so it's basically like this. But this, like if this is your wrist, it's popping out and it's not in. Is that what you're this, saying? This much is in. This part is the part that's, that's um, an L. Well, that makes the L shape out. for him to be able to grab it and pull it. Oh, okay. yeah, I thought you were saying like they digged it in and then when it was in, it was also still Oh, sticking. hell no. I was like, oh, what the fuck type of <laughs> shit is that? But all right. Torture machine. Yeah, yeah. Shit. Yeah. Now, like I said, that dude is obviously a serial killer. So, this must have been even like grabbing the shit and he's fucking shaking at it or whatever. Yeah. I feel my fucking phone, just, my, my bone just jiggling around his arm. I'm like, uh, gee, come on now. Did you feel that? Hell, this is probably the worst pain in my fucking life. They, they gave me some damn ivory coat on before they had to say, this shit on the bank, but they go where? That didn't do shit. That didn't do shit. So, um, <laughs> yeah, after, um, your body probably shut that shit down and beat up all the medicine. Man. Like, no, nah, this ain't finna take it like that. The medicine came with your blood cells, came with like, fuck that shit, man. Get the fuck out of here. You probably came up with that bitch drunk as hell to get instantly sober. Oh, hey, like, no, you finna feel this pain. Yeah, no, you feel all So, pain. yeah, I, I took about a year and a half of um, rehab. Well, yeah, I'll call it rehab um, therapy. And uh, that had to be the worst pain in my life because I couldn't use, I couldn't move, I couldn't move my fingers at all. I couldn't even move them a fucking centimeter. I couldn't even move them like that. Yeah. And what if I did, it hurt like a bitch. Because they've been stuck like that probably for so long. Mm-hmm. And you including, know, like, including, nice including the atrophy of me not using it when the injury initially happened or whatever. Yeah. So with it not being used for all that time or whatever, it just got, you know, stuck into that, stuck into place <laughs> like that. Just about to be able to like just smack, smack niggas with your dead yeah. head all the time. Can you do me a favor? I'm take that like. I was hit that light. I was basically, I was basically a uh, one of the characters from GTA San Andreas. All their hands are stuck like yeah. this, or whatever. Grabbing coffee cups like this. <laughs> That's basically what I was. It was tough, but um, before I get into more details of that, I was just ended right there. That was probably the worst Thanksgiving I ever had. 